Yes! Sorry, I've been, I, I yelled. Probably Mike picked, or Mike pitched, but I've got a baby in my biscuit. Oh my god, that's all I've ever wanted. A little baby in my, that, that's, that's, my, that's my purpose, you know? I'm literally a creature, evolu like, evolved to have a baby basket. Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolved today, checking out some of these new plays that are updates. There's actually been a bunch under the mammals category, right? About meow, basically involving the new TLC creatures, dinosaurs, and all that kind of shiz. Basically giving the creatures more and more rights and ability abilities than they've ever had before in this game, and that's why it's so damn special. Alright, whoops, anything but human, jackass. Alright, so before starting this, I want to give a big shout out to my Isle server for all you Isle players out there, either past, present, or future people who intend on getting the game or who had it last year, two years ago when I used to post it. I did make an Isle server, it is where I would like everyone to gather and where we can all basically get on there and have fun. It is uh, killing on site, like it's not, you know, those no KOS servers, it is. It is kill on site. Because I, I, mean, I went over this last yesterday in my video, so I'm very out of it right now. I just shotgun to a Red Bull and it went right to like my hips. I don't even know what's going on here. But, I mean, no disrespect to your guys' servers. You know, you no KOS ones where everyone just gets along and is fancy and everything. It's just Johnny doesn't want to be fed. Johnny wants to hunt is the thing. So yeah, get on there and strap your battle boots on because the shit's going to be crazy. It is called Valhalla. You will have to have the Isle uh, uh, Dev Branch open, not the standard Isle Dev Branch. You shouldn't know how to do that. If you played the Isle before, you shouldn't know how to do that. And um, yeah, it's called Valhalla. There is another one called Valhalla currently, which never has anybody on it. Although they claim that they own the name and no one else can take pride in their Viking heritage. They claim they own it even though no one's ever on there and they just complain about it. They don't fight like Vikings at all about it, which makes me think that, um... Makes me think that I'm completely disrespecting every bit of Viking ancestry bleeding through my nuts right now if I just disregard it. It's when I ramble about nonsense, that's when I confuse people. Alright, so Valhalla server, it's maximum out of 150, that's how you know it's mine. The other one's out of 130, so go for the one that's out of 150. 20 more people, because it's cooler! Alright, so the, the, the things I'm looking at today, let's see here, it's rega regards the Procoptodon and the Gigantopithecus. If you're not into Gigantopithecuses and Procoptodons, then this video is probably not for you, I'm just being honest. Like, that's just, it's, I don't want to bait you, you know? If you're, if you're weedy! Alright, so I just made myself breathe and think things through. I'm now talking more calmly and collectively and coolly. I'm not, no more gibberish, no more random screwed by gibberish. Okay, so today we're going Gigantopithecus. Now, there's no way in Santa's panties I'm not going purple. I mean, look at this. I've essentially become Thanos once I do this. It's actually beautiful. Like, this this, this right here was initially the reason I wanted to do this video. Twirl away, Thanos, you beautiful bastard. Alright, I feel like this is a generally okay place to go if you're gonna look for A, Poontang, and two, Combat. Now, the main thing that's been changed about the Gigantopithecus, I'm pretty sure this is going to be added on to more and more as well, to craft weapons and hats. See this creature, Thanos over here, butt naked Thanos, before he shaved his booty and headed to, uh, I guess to Asgard, was where that little- No wait, where did he see had to stop off again? Oh, I'm giving away spoilers! Either way, here we have him. Moments before he shaved his butt and headed into combat, here we have big furry purple Thanos. Now, the ep epic thing, the most epic thing about this, obviously there's a new, um, Gigantopithecus, like he's got new models, new textures, everything, he's fancy and pretty. But this one, I, it could breed too. Breeding's awesome. You notice I'm gathering resources though. Why am I gathering resources? Well, my children, I'm gathering resources because this ape has officially, I don't know, you know how in Spore, when you officially wipe out or befriend, befriend a couple tribes, look at all that stuff we can craft, no freaking way. Once you wipe out or befriend a few tribes and you get your DNA points up, you evolve, you gain knowledge, intelligences and stuff. Well, that's basically what's going on here. I'm a monkey learning to craft and such. I, I understand monkeys and apes aren't the same thing. You're gonna have to just bear with me on that one. All right, we got some hide off and that's good. Let's see here. Now we need, of course, you need fiber, just some flint. Let's go ahead and craft one of you right here. Too freaking awesome. Now I imagine it's mostly only involving items and clothes because or items and hats, because that's that's all we have. You know, we're not we're not like the most advanced creature in the world. We're just we're just getting up there. Let's see, we're the second smartest animal on this island. Humans being the first, so there we have it. We've officially equipped our pick. The coolest thing about this is because now you could you could kind of form your own, and you're not a human too. You're a freaking Gigantopithecus. Like you're more, you're more equipped to the freaking terrain and stuff like that. You're not gonna get cold and freeze. You're not gonna get hot and sweat your balls off. I feel like all species have that in common. Actually, we all can lose our testicles through heat explosions, but 
I generally though you're a creature I'm saying you can also launch boulders like what the hell was he headbutted a boulder Basically, you have some of the advantages of being human without being a human making this one of the most fun species to play as I imagine Imagine someone has a server. I don't have my play as dino server up anymore because I really only turned it on for events and I felt bad putting the admin through that considering the admin runs everything from all of our arc series our, my isle server everything Chris goes a magician I did not account for this dude honestly this is it's so much better to get food this way to like some stupid human picking berries like oh look honey look at the way that monkey's picking berries we must do it too hang on it's gonna be some it's gonna be some berries up and do I gotta unequip the freaking pick I do I think right now we're just specifically gathering things with the pick, let's go ahead and put that down. We have a freaking billy club too, though, dude. This is actually insane. Hey, just go ahead and, uh... What are you doing, selfish? Look who just found himself the infinity stones. All right, enough of your little animation. See, we get more than enough berries to eat for we- Yeah, this, this surviving this kind of creature would be so fun. Just like every creature, though, it'd get very lonely. You gotta have your buds with you. All right, let's go beat someone's ass right now. We can even make spears. That's crazy. You can go really far into this thing right here. That's that's actually quite beautiful. Schnurf. All right, let's go ahead and really club it up and helmet it up. Yeah! Make sure to leave a like on the video, guys, if you want me to follow all uh, play as dino updates and such. This is really the closest we're going to get to Primal Evolved and all that. So let's treasure it. Look at Thanos over here. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me right now? Are you absolutely serious? You Getting all my sets of armor. <laughs> Fun isn't something one considers when gathering all sets of armor. But this, <laughs> this does put a smile on my face. Dude, you went right to sleep. It's because you got Billy Club by Thanos. Like, seriously? Seriously? That's actually hilarious. When are you, you don't even get your little bonus because I don't even count as a large car carnivore. I'm not, I'm not large nor carnivorous. But I can knock you to sleep with leisure. Dude, oh my god, call me knockout. Like, that is, just call me Bill Cosby. Who's got more knockouts, Thanos or Bill Cosby? Who's the real hero here? <laughs> I meant villain, and now I'm gonna have to explain myself. One slip of the words, and now the FBI is at my front door. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, I forgot I could throw boulders. <laughs> That's pretty easy too, actually. Quite the little phenomenon there, like this guy's even, oh yeah, Jesus Christ! Okay, yes, yeah, so this is actually one of the craziest creatures. I actually believe this guy could last pretty. I mean, see, the which I, I agree. Draw the line at making structures and stuff. This creature should not be able to make structures. Absolutely not. That just wouldn't make any design sense. Oh my god, that was like a brutal freaking death right there. I was messed up. Hit him once, then knock him asleep. Good lord, this creature is actually insanely OP. I don't even have any dev commands on. Like sometimes I'll activate infinite stats in these play as dino videos because the creature is so weak and you got to be able to get him from one side of place to the other. But this dude's walking around like, well, from behind he looks like Aunt Jemima, the lady off the syrup bottles. Let's not just let's not act like that looks like anything but an Aunt Jemima hat. From the front though, dude, he's just a scary guy, very scary dude. Thanos of Ark right here. There's a Carno up here. I want to see who's scarier. This isn't even I seriously. Look, like level six, level six, dude. This guy's what's the the freaking muscle of a Gigantopithecus combined with the brains of man is like brutality. Look, I killed the Paggy before we could even get to it. What? Brutal. It's like a freaking landslide came by and just dumped and dumped all over him. Hang on, quit doing your levels. So what are you doing? Can I knock you unconscious easy? Oh my god, of course. Ultimate taming buddy right here. You, this is why you want to roleplay. Oh my god, form your village in a, a roleplay series with the play as Dino Mod. Have like a tribe of humans, you know, but a couple players are with some of these. Just your main assisting. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. Way cooler than taming dinosaurs. Taming dinosaurs isn't even relatively realistic to me. Why is this guy even targeting me? I don't think. Oh my god, I don't think the freaking monkey's on his food chain. Like he doesn't even um, he doesn't even go for me. But yeah, and then instead of someone taming a T-Rex, someone just role plays as a T-Rex. A baby T-Rex, too, that the tribe has to grow up together and raise together. That sounds like a good fun time. Oh, now we're losing some health. Oh no, monkey troops not everything today, is he? What are you doing? I'll knock you asleep just on my way. We can't very well check his torpor, can I? Hey, let's get that stamina up a little bit. Come on. Hey, Oh, he's gonna come to me too. I didn't make life easy. You know, let's just make life a tiny bit easier for me. There we go. Oh, you're the gathering rare flowers to be such a help to the group. Don't be a bastard. No! Not going out like some sissy. 
Yeah, dude, we just knocked a Bronto to sleep. I mean, we are very close to death. Sorry, I just woke my dog. It's okay, buddy. I'm sorry. We are very close to death, but... And it all is like level 5, but... That's a Bronto knocked out right there. With, like, this this mod's generally vanilla, too. Or vanilla with sprinkles, because mods, by definition, aren't vanilla. But it doesn't add anything OP to the game. It's just letting me play as a generic Gigantopithecus level 9 with a club in my hand and a little fancy hat on my head. Only difference is this one is smarter than the average one. This one's able to make tools, make items, and use those to better its existence. And that is some fancy stuff. Alright, up next we have the Procoptodon, which is now obviously a Thanos Procoptodon. You know what? I don't even care, dude. That movie's so insane, and it's not at all a spoiler. You should know he's purple. That shouldn't even affect this, the movie at all, you racist bastards. Why does skin color even come into play? Why are you even talking about it right now? He says while sitting in a room talking to himself. So here we have the pink Procoptodon. Now the coolest thing about this one, if you guys want to play as this, obviously not- Well, it's, you know what with this freaking super jump, you, you kind of are spoiled with your- It's going to be very hard to catch you. Even if a pack of other players that are players, carnivorous creatures does come in and manage to get- Gigantopithecus is with billy clubs. Honestly, is your worst nightmare in this kind of situation. Now, I believe- Oh no, you're too big, aren't you? Oh no, I forgot that T-Rex is too big. Sorry, little fella, you're just, um, gonna die. What about you? Oh my god, I forgot how adorable these things were when they're babies. Look at that little fart down there. Are you kidding me? Look at that little adorable. Hey there, little guy. Spanky. Spanky dudes. Hey, what's wrong with him? He won't go inside my schnizzle. Is that the correct terminology? What's up, little fella? Why won't you go inside my basket? Probably because he'd get lost in there. That is no, no, nothing is ever that size. I refuse to believe a gigantic Pythagoras is ever this size. That doesn't even make any sense. That you, you, that, that this seems flawed, like some sort of bugginess, right? I haven't bred gigant in a, I haven't, I don't think I've bred them in, in, in a long time. Are you telling me they come out skittle sized? That doesn't even seem right. What's this thing, missing a chromosome? I'm pretty sure it's missing a chromosome. My sister was born missing a chromosome, and she was completely normal, just very freaking small for the first, like, two years of her life. After that, she was non-existent. But this little thing, what is that? How does that even happen? Dear Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, but I, I've been through this before, and, and it's not gonna last that long, unless they just naturally come out that little, is that what's going on? Either way, we've de developed the ability to pick children up. Um, I would, I would expect us to be able to pick up grown men too, as long as they fit inside our basket, because that's hilarious right there. Somewhat degrading, but you know, some dude takes your parking spot, you know, he's small enough, walk up and put him in your pocket. It's hilarious. Watch him scream in his high-pitched voice as you carry him away to, I don't know, a mountain? I just saw someone here who was perfect baby grabbing size. Ooh, snap, where did you go? Little sneak peek of Avengers 4 right here, am I right? Oh, would you just come back from an hour ago when I kicked you into the water? What a douche. The kick is hysterical. Would make it a very, 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 very annoying creature to play as if you're doing a play as Dino Mass Server, to be honest. It, it would be a bit of a pain in the butt, but not for you, of course. It'd be awesome for you. But I mean, as long as no one's messing with you, then they got no problem. You may be able to kick the humans that are teamed up with the Gigantopithecuses, but once the, uh... Once the Gigantopithecus is gonna hold you, you're gonna go to sleep in like two hits anyways. Then the humans are just gonna do awful, awful things to you. Yes! Sorry, I've been, I, I yelled, probably mic picked, or mic pitched, but I've got a baby in my basket! Oh my god, that's all I've ever wanted, a little baby in my, that, that's as, as my purpose, you know? I'm literally a creature evolu- like, evolved to have a baby basket. When it's empty and it's not loaded with baby, I just feel uneasy and babyless. You know, a big old baby basketless loser. But right now, I'm on top of the world. Let's get a look at this little spanky doodle once we get him out of here. Because this, this right here, now I just want to have a giant plays dino pub server. But to be honest, the only reason I don't is because people never really listen to the rules. And uh, right now, if you just keep choosing different creatures and not killing your last creature, and then uh, picking new ones, it crashes. But... I did ask Fantastic about that, and he actually has a fix for it to make it so it won't crash servers anymore. So it won't even matter if people do it. Obviously, you guys are gonna listen, but eventually someone's gonna watch this video, click through 10 seconds of it, and then only gather like, and then they're gonna mess me. Hey, why isn't the Play's Dino server running? Like, well, if you wanna watch the goddamn video, then, but that's that's neither here nor there. That's on Twitter and in my Discord. But yes, once that patch comes through, then we could. But honestly, I, I don't know what I'm gonna wanna be. Obviously, a lot of people will just go right for Giga and stuff. There won't be bosses. No bosses allowed. Just takes all the fun out of it. It's just essentially the aisle. 
but with a lot of things missing and a lot of things gained. The main thing gained being there is a child against me and I'm holding it safely. Imagine if this was another player right here. Well, I guess it'd be like when the Procopterdon first came out and players could actually sit in the baby pouch. That's pretty much what it'd be all about, baby. The super jump, the super kick, and the baby patch is pretty awesome, but I think I'd still be a Gigantopithecus, a group of a group of super intelligent Planet of the Apes style monkeys. That's what it is, dude. It's Planet of the Apes. It's super smart apes, dude. Holy snap balls. That's what it is. Wow. You could actually do Planet of the Apes in Ark. That's bananas, dude. What? Okay, so now I have a whole new goal with what I need to do with my life and everything. I don't know. Scratch it all. We're doing Planet of the Apes. Everyone could be other creatures also, but we need to do Apes vs. Humans Warfare. And I think it needs to be hosted by, C by Crisco, and I think it needs to be done with all of us. And I feel like that'd be the best thing ever. By far, dude. Oh my god, that'd be so great. Yes! Okay, so make sure to check out the Isle server that I mentioned prior before. And leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment down below if you guys would want to join in in that Rise of Planet of the Apes style battle. Because now it's all I could really think about. And yes, hope you beautiful people have a lovely day. Peace! <laughs>